guys welcome back to the channel i'm back we got another year that we're kicking off in high style on the channel by continuing the blue build which i'm right in the middle of which would have been the last build of last year but i didn't get a chance to finish it in time so it's going to be the first build of the new year so happy new year guys glad you're joining me again and hoping that you guys are going to love what i got coming up first thing i'm going to do is finish that blue build then we're going to jump into all sorts of stuff for my fiero buddies out there see i'm wearing the hat we're going to start tearing the rat down and we're going to do a complete rebuild of that car now that's going to take uh, probably a couple years to finish but uh we're going to get that started this year so you guys are going to want to stick around for that and for my scale modeling buddies we got a whole bunch of stuff coming up if you saw some of my videos at the end of the last year, you know there's all sorts of really cool stuff. I'm not going to be doing as much cars as uh, as many cars as I did last year because I want to expand into a couple of other different uh, genres. Uh, I want to go back into my uh, sci-fi stuff and also my anime stuff. But uh, there's still going to be a lot of cars sprinkled in between. So uh, I'm hoping that we can get some stuff done. And there's one build that I want to try and fit in before Mosquito Con uh, in April, if I can get it done in time. So uh, I hope you guys are going to stick with me and watch. I love having you guys here. You're the reason that this channel has gone as far as it has. And uh, I'm very, very happy about that. So now the purpose of our little video here today, instead of me just rambling on, is that I picked up some cool stuff that I want to show you guys, including one new add to the stash which i think you guys are gonna like so uh let's uh flip this camera around and uh, take a look and see what we got all right guys the first thing we're going to start off with are some new tools for the channel i just decided to pay a visit to uh, my local um, harbor freight store and picked up a bit of these more micro carbide bit sets as we all know these tiny little drill bits are invaluable to our hobby all sorts of different sizes here. This is going to be great and allow me to do some precision drilling, precision drilling, and uh, really get some really cool stuff done with this. So I'm going to love using this. It's got the 20 pieces in here, all different bit sizes. Not really sure what the sizes are, but uh, it's a lot of them. So this is going to be cool addition to the uh, addition to the tools of the. Uh, of the channel. The next thing we picked up is some rotary saw blade kits. This is going to be really cool for one particular project which I'm hoping to get to or at least get started this year. And this is going to be very useful for it. That's coming on the, on the channel where it'll be a surprise. So these rotary saw blades should come in very very handy. You can attach them to any rotary tool, your Dremel or any other sort of rotary tool you got should work really cool. Now, one thing I want to show you guys, I just got in from Model Car Garage, some new photo etch stuff. Just got in, so let's take a look at it because I was running low on some of their stuff and I decided just to restock up. So let's see what we got here. And it came in very, very quickly, too. Much faster than even I expected. And here we go. From all those here at the Model Car Garage, thank you for your business. We know you have choices where you can buy your detail accessories. And we are pleased you have chosen us here at Model Car Garage. Very cool. Nice little letter there. And let's uh, see if we can open this up. And let's see what I decided to pick up. First thing we have here is our disc brake set. I've used their disc brakes before on one of the Fiero builds. It's a very cool little photo etch set. It's got the two sides and the center for the appearance of a vented rotor. Very, very cool. Picked up another, I uh, picked up two of these because uh, and I'm doing quite a bit with this stuff. I want to add a lot of detail to some of the new, some of the cars that we'll be doing. Or And uh, this always looks good behind the rims. And here they have a slotted set, which is also very, very cool. 
So they have m several different types of brakes, brake rotors. As you can see there, we can get the glare off it. A very cool slotted set. And then of course, had to pick up another one of their seatbelt accessory sets. Seatbelt buckles, all sorts of different buckles in there. Everything that you can use for any sort of seatbelt that you can think of. I'm running low. I've used up basically everything else that I've had of theirs. They have some great, great photo wedge stuff. It's Model Car Garage. I've used them quite a bit and I really, really like their products. Okay, guys, that's enough of that commercial. And as you know, I never recommend anything to you guys unless I really, really like it. And so far, everything that I've used from them, I really like. So uh, look them up if you're looking for some detail supplies. As you can see, they've got quite a selection. All right, let's keep going on and look at what else we got in. All right, guys, the next two things we have up are for one of the projects that I'm hoping to have completed in time for MosquitoCon, held here in New Jersey, which is a really great model show, which I went to for the first time last year, and I loved it. And uh, I was hoping that I would be able to get this particular project done in time for it. Don't know if it'll work, if I'll be able to get that done. But uh, hey, I'm going to try. This is the light set for the brand new Star Trek Cru Klingon Cruiser, the Kronos Cruiser. And this light set is featured in Star Trek VI, The Undiscovered Country. This is the Kronos One, which is the Klingon flagship it has lights for the photon torpedo tubes, everything in the uh, in the crew area. It's got strobes. It's got all sorts of different lights. The engines, the hangar bays. It's it's gonna really really. Oh look at this green nacelles for the LEDs for the, for the engines. Um, it's a really cool one. It has 38 LEDs in it, and uh, I'm hoping that I can get this project off the ground and get it started. Time for mosquito con now to go along with that is the star trek chronos one photo etch set all of these are accoutrement that are dressing up the chronos one cruiser which is what differentiates it from the other Klingon starships and as you can see here if you can see the picture here all of these little photo edge pieces dress up the cruiser as would be befitting of the Klingon High Chancellor. So they look, it looks like it's going to be a little tricky to cut them all out. Very, very fine pieces, but it's going to be a, a really cool way to dress this cruiser up. So it's not just another Klingon D7 battle cruiser. Uh, you guys can see all of that all of the areas where it's going to dress up the ship. So I'm really, really hoping that I can get this done in time for MosquitoCon. Okay, now the next thing we got, if you guys have watched my uh, previous video, I picked up one of these tiny little Glencoe model kits uh, previously. And it's really, really interesting, tiny little kits. And I decided I'm going to try one more. And I saw this one, which has the Buick LeSabre concept car and a 160th scale classic racer. I've never built anything 160th scale. So this is going to be really interesting to see what is in here. As the LeSabre is a 170 second. You know what? Why don't we just look? We'll see what is actually in here. Because 160th scale is small, for lack of a better word. And that there is really no lack of, it's, it's small. What, 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 what do you want me to call it? So here we have our instruction booklet, which is pretty uh, simple. One page. On one side, it's got the indie racer. On the other side, it's got the concept car. These are very simple little kits. And here is the 172nd scale car. 
which is tiny. Never built a car smaller than 143rd scale. And this is the 160th scale racer. Now these are all from Glencoe Models, which is a model company that was around way back, I think in the 60s, when I looked them up last. And these little kits are remnants of the past. So it's going to be really fun to build these kits as we'll be revisiting modeling as it was way back when. So it's kind of neat. We'll take a closer look at that on a later episode. But let's keep this moving along so I can show you guys what else I just recently picked up. This is going to be really cool. Hold on to this. Okay, guys. Feast your eyes on this thing. 1987 Pontiac Firebird GTA 116 scale. I've been looking at this kit ever since it was announced. And uh, it's been staring back at me. So finally I said, you know what? We've been staring at each other long enough. Let's just let's just go home together. I know that sounds a little weird, but it kind of you know sort of went like that. Anyway, uh, you know that I can't build a Camaro on the channel without following it up with a Pontiac of some kind, because we're Pontiac guys. Well, I'm a Pontiac guy, and we can't let Chevy have the last word. So I decided that since I'm doing the Camaro, I've got to follow it up with an F body, Pontiac style. So I picked this up and take a look at that. This is going to be a really, really fun build. I do also have these. This is a third gen Firebird Trans Am, or is this a GTA? No, this is a GTA, not a Trans Am. Basically the same car, just different letters. Uh, and. Um, I do have, this is known as a third gen Firebird, for those of you who are not familiar with the, with the uh, F bodies. I also have a second gen in the 116 scale, so I'm hoping that uh, I'll be able to squeeze in two 116 scale large builds together. And we may as well make them both Pontiacs, because really what's better than Pontiac? Nothing! So, there you go guys. This is going to be fun, it's going to be on the channel going to be all about the Pontiacs. So, um, I think that's going to be it, guys. Let's swing this camera around one more time. That's it, guys. Those are the newest additions to the channel, and um, I can't wait to get started on this thing. I mean, look at how, look at how big this is. Look at, it, look at this next to me. This is huge. This is huge. It's going to be great. It's going to be fun. I'm going to love this. This was my first, well, I had an 83 Trans Am, which was my first car, which uh, I love to this day. It was stolen, ended badly. So anyway, uh, I got over that trauma, and now I'm ready for another one. That is going to be the start of this year, which is starting right now. Actually, whenever you see this is when it's going to start. Um... And uh, we're going to jump right into it, getting through the blue build. At some point, we're going to get to this giant Pontiac and uh, other stuff. So I hope you guys are going to join me, get, follow along, call your friends, invite your neighbors, get them all to subscribe because we want to build this channel up. I'm hoping to be able to hit 2,000 subscribers this year. Don't know if that's going to happen, but I really, really would love to see that happen. And if it does, there's going to be a giveaway. Okay, not really sure how to do that or how that works, but I'm going to do it. Uh, somebody's going to get something really cool if, uh, if we can get that to 2000 this year. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to go now, and I will see you guys on the next one. And the one after that. And the one after, well, you know, if you guys keep coming back, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll just keep doing this. All right, see ya.